Alright guys, I'm back and uploading a video like I said I would. It is now Thursday and I'm going to describe how to take apart the entire f slide for the 709 slide in detail and in depth without too much talking. Alright, just pay attention. This little tab here, it's gonna come off. The little plate. Once you pull this guy down, the orange sleeve, the plate here slides off. So you're gonna go ahead and hold that down. Once you see that small gap, you're pretty much good to go to give them a nice little tug just make sure nothing comes flying off right. once that comes off be very careful with this pin right here here let me focus on this little pin right here You don't want that to get lost. So all you're gonna do, pull this guy out. This is your firing pin. Inspect that. Make sure that's solid. Clean with a brush. Do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Make sure it's clean. Shit sliding fine. Make sure it's uh, nice and clean, you know? Make sure everything's fine. This guy here, the extractor. You press this down, and the extractor comes right out. Boom. Yeah. Now you're gonna want to pay attention to this guy right here, which is what a lot of people don't talk about. This little guy right here. This guy right here has to be facing a certain position when you put it back. It has a flat end. And it has a, I'll just pull it out. I'll just put it back in. This is the plunger, stopper, goes in here, just like that. And underneath that, this guy right here, so the spring. Is right in here. And that holds the plunger in place moving up and down. So don't lose that. This little guy is going to be inside of this chamber in here. Now what you want to pay attention to is when you put it back, you don't want to put it... You want to put this side facing out like this. You don't want to put it back in like this because you're going to have issues extract their issues specifically so when you put it back in see how it's facing you want to put it in like this facing in so that's the one important part that i wanted to let me just drop that guy right back in there so just like that see and just when it's in there just make sure that it's facing the right way So when you go to put it back together, you're gonna wanna sit the 
let's go in there. Spring first. Oh, I'm trying to show it for the video. Hold on, guys. So this guy is gonna go. And when you when you first get this gun, all in here, you're gonna want to take this apart because all in here there's gonna be a shit ton of uh, packing grease. So you're gonna want to clean all that out, oil it. Make sure you get some good gun oil, Lucas. Um, yeah, just you might want to. You're gonna have to turn the slide right side up to do this probably. I'm just showing you guys for the purpose of the video. Put that in there. Bam. Just like that. That's gonna go right in there. Whoa. Right in there. So you can see the spring. Bam, right in there. In properly, you know what I mean? So once that's in there, you have to extract that. Try to nicely oil it. And you're gonna wanna put you're gonna wanna put this side in first. So you're gonna wanna kinda just lay it down gently, you know what I mean? Just make sure the piece back here is still facing the correct way, which it is. And then just bam, pop it in there. No big deal. And then just let go. Once you let go of this follower, that's not that's not really gonna come out as long as this back piece has pressure. So that's what's gonna keep a little follower in here. This is what's gonna keep tension on the extractor. So what you're gonna wanna do is put this puppy right back together. Right after you cleaned it, do what you have to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to keep this as short as possible. Put that sucker right back in there. Bum, bum. You get your case. You know, push it in there nicely. And what I like to do is set. You're gonna, cause you're, you're gonna wanna get it in these little rivets right here. So I like to set it down first. Just so I can know where it's gonna go. And then you have to kind of push the back in like that to get the orange piece just behind the plate. Now, I don't know if you can see it right there, hold on. So you wanna get it just like that, bang. Plastic right over the orange piece. Now this is gonna be the next piece that you gotta have to put behind the shield. Just two pieces, the orange and this, all right? Make sure the thing up here, the extractor's still good. Thing's good. Keep this, keep pressure on there, remember? Because it'll fly off when you keep pressure on there. So now what I'm gonna do is push this in and slide this up simultaneously. Uh, hopefully I can get it on camera, can you see? Uh, did it. So, add to you some car keys. Pushed it in. I'll push this up. And I got it in there. Mm -hmm. So that's what you're gonna want to see. If you can see that. Yeah, but the pin is right back. Right back in there. Right back in there. So once that's in, you just. Snap that puppy once you hear that click. Pretty much good. You know? And then make sure your spring is good. Test your uh, firing pin by pushing it forward. When you push it forward, it shouldn't protrude. It shouldn't come out of here. But once you hit this guy right here, bam, and you press it forward, there's your firing pin. So make sure that block is working, okay? the main thing and make sure that your extractor is functioning properly it's not flying off which by pressing down on here you pretty much see just right here. Well, you 
can see that it's you can see that it's functioning. Properly. Alright. And that's it. And then we just Test it out, make sure there's nothing in it. Safe. Perfectly fine. Alright. Leave any comments below. Any uh, questions you may have. Thanks, guys.